Around a thousand sheep crowd the frozen Puma Yumco Lake. But these are no ordinary sheep. These avid travelling sheep have just returned from their annual migration. Every year they take a one-month vacation to their holiday destination in the middle of the lake. The owners of the sheep live in the nearby Tu village, which is situated on the bank of the lake, around 300 kilometers southwest of the Tibetan capital Lhasa. At an average altitude of 5,070 meters, the village is known as the highest administrative village on earth. The extreme climate of the area, coupled with the high altitude, makes it hard for vegetation to grow and survive. During the winter season, the situation gets worse and food becomes in short supply. But local residents have come up with a solution to ensure that the animals always have enough food. They've discovered that vegetation resources on the Mid Lake Inland are lush and plentiful. This makes the area the ideal location for the sheep to spend the cruel months of winter. The area has been sheltered from the harsh conditions thanks to the numerous streams which flow down from the snow-capped mountains, creating inflow rivers. The three islands at the centre of the lake provide an abundance of organic vegetation, creating the ideal winter retreat for the village's local livestock. Each year, the villagers wait for the lake to freeze over. They take this as the cue to herd the sheep to their winter retreat. Once spring arrives, the sheep are collected and brought home. It's vital that we collect the animals back from the retreat at the right time. If we miss the right date and leave it too late, the ice may have already started to thaw on the lake, and we run the risk of losing some of the sheep. As the sheep are collected from their holiday retreat, all the villagers come along to lend a hand. To ensure the animals don't slip on the ice, the villagers lay sand across the slippery surface. Known as the highest lake on the southern Tibetan plateau, Lake Puma Yumko is 32.5 kilometers long and 14 kilometers wide, running parallel with the east-west direction. The lake covers a total surface area of 290 square kilometers. Droma is relieved to be reunited with his sheep. We leave the sheep to enjoy the grass there, then we escort them back. I'm pleased to see that this year we have some new boys. <laughs>